Hopkinton is best known for the starting point of the Boston Marathon, which happens every year in April on Patriot's Day. Hopkinton is about 25 miles to Boston, so it will take you an hour to drive there. If you're going to work and coming home, it's not for everyone, of course. Yeah, for Boston distances, it's a little too much. Well, I'm sure some people who live in California are used to driving that much, but not in Boston. But the good thing about Hopkinton, it has the commuter rail, so you can hop on it and you don't have to think about driving. It's a very rural town, so let's go and see what else Hopkinton has to offer. Let's go. This is Nune and Boston area homes. If you're new here, I talk about Boston, the suburbs, and about real estate on this channel. Hopkinton is 17 miles east of Worcester and 26 miles west of Boston. It has about 18,000 people living here. Neighboring towns are Southboro, Ashland, Holliston, Milford, Upton, and Westboro. SafeWise, a home safety review company named Hopkinton the safest city in America for 2019. Here are my pros of living in Hopkinton. There are many gorgeous public areas for hiking and outdoor activities, including the Hopkinton and Whitehall State Parks. Both parks were created after the prospective reservoirs were no longer used as water sources for the greater Boston area. You can do bicycling, hiking, horseback riding, picnicking, cross-country skiing, swimming, and kayaking here. Really magical. If you want to retire in Massachusetts, Hopkinton is a great place to choose. There are several 55 plus adult communities you can choose from. It's calm and quiet and you can have all the beautiful nature. Hopkinton is a great place for families with children because of excellent public schools. Hopkinton schools are always ranked in the top 10 in Massachusetts. This year, Hopkinton High School was ranked number 11th. As with any small rural town, there is a strong community vibe amongst the residents. Route I-90 goes east to west and Route I-495 goes north to south and provides easy access to the surrounding communities. It is about 45 minutes to Providence, Rhode Island and about 3 hours to New York City from Hopkinton, of course depending on traffic. Hopkinton is served by the MBTA commuter rail and will take you to South Station and Back Bay Station in Boston or to Worcester. You can be in Back Bay in about 50 minutes. Price Chopper is a small grocery store in Hopkinton. If you need more choices, you can travel to the neighboring Ashland. Check out my video about Ashland. The malls in Framingham and Natick are not too far either. As in any rural town, there is nothing to do at night and if you want to do anything, you need to drive somewhere else. There are not enough businesses to give a sufficient amount of jobs to the community, but um, there is the headquarters of Dell EMC Corporation in Hopkinton. And now let's talk about real estate. Average sell price for a single family house in the last three months was $1,134,000. For a condo, it was $710,000. Most are townhouses, there are no apartment buildings here. Multifamily homes are pretty rare in Hopkinton. The average sale price was $687,000. Feel free to reach out to me with any questions or if you need to buy or sell in Massachusetts. I get calls all the time and I love getting those calls from my YouTube family. If you liked Hopkinton, you probably like rural and quiet towns. Well. Ashland is a perfect, perfect town for you that's coming next.